These are our tickets for the residential palace. So this is the famous Bodhi tree. The tree that the Buddha is born and he died under the tree. I've never seen these flowers before and the smell is so different, so intense. So this is uh, the palace, one of the last palaces of Cambodia. It was built in 1866 under the reign of King Nerudam, who is a great, great grandfather of the current king. So Cambodia has uh, many, many palaces because of the fighting each other between the member of the royal family and the royal family. Because in Cambodia, so the king of Cambodia, they have to marry with the same family. They have to marry with their cousin, with the sister of his mother, or sister of his father, because they want to keep the royal blood. But uh, most of the members of the royal family, they are not British. So the king will be looking for another pretty ladies as a concubines, as a girlfriend. The Indian and then they marry each other. And then when they finish of the party, the Indian he asks his wife. Of the Hindu god. So he make himself like a fortune teller for the king. So the king before he departed to another country, he always come here to ask a fortune teller to predict. Brahman house. The Brahman house. Thank and you. He make himself like a fortune teller. And today he have a duty to look up to the spear of the king to come. Then they come to present the letter to the king and also the place that you fall keep the body because they yeah, have all. represents a day of the week. It starts with Sunday. These are the royal costumes. Inside the Buddha is uh, made from emerald and the floor is from silver.
Cambodia, we follow the story when the and then the monk he pick up the Sita baby from the river and take Sita come to stay with him by like an adopted daughter by bury Sita to the ground and 18 years later so they dig up the Sita from the ground and she become to the beautiful skin. They download their daughter for the school that their daughter needed to hard study because they let her to learn how to use her shopping uh, shopping machine. Yes, how to fishing the clothes and how to fishing the trouser. Yes, when she turned 13 to 14 years old, they will lock their daughter in a room for three years. Even in our days. Yeah, some provinces. Some so in some provinces. Yes. Even in our days, yeah. in some provinces, yes. the daughter is locked in the house yes. for how many? For three years. For three years. Yes. What? Well, when she's to, 13. To 14. Oh. Because the Cambodia, 75 percent is uh, arranged marriage. Mother is in make decision for her son and for her daughter. And when she stands out of the room, so the mother always come to teach her daughter how to make the food and how to uh, to be a good baby. housewife. Yes, as a, as a they're training her how to be a good wife. <laughs> This is the model of Angkor Wat. In a few days we will be there. Another magnificent body tree. This is for the king's concubines. So if he had 10, 20 concubines, he had 20. So the king had 20. So the former king had 200 concubines, and each concubine had one of these. Oh, just only the favorite one. Oh, just only the favorite ones. That's interesting. The daughter is locked for for three years to have the white skin. It's 
radius and it has a kitchen uh, kitchen room, dining room and And she stays here all the time. Yes, yeah, so her just a nice family is again get out and to cooking how to make her food and how that the teaching by his mother, the mother. This is a kitchen room for the daughter where she learns how to cook. And this is the water jug and she collects the water from the roof. She also learns how to make cloth, how to take care of the house and future children.